Hello everyone, hello everybody, this is 41 Solstice 25 Winter Solstice 8, and how are you today? I got like a tactical skin on for this Halloween season. And yeah, today I'm going to tell you guys about the Shulker box. Now, this has to do with Minecraft 111 coming soon. I'm not quite sure when. It's not out around the time of this video, I can tell you that much. Or like when I'm recording this. But let me tell you what I can t actually know about the shulker box. Of like when it can be used, how it can be used. So shulker box is plain and simple. It places on the surface that you're pointing at and opens relative of that. Like, see, I placed it on this surface, now it opens this way. If I... If I place it on the top of a block, it'll open that way, going downward. And you can, like, basically see the bottom of the box based on that kind of placement arrangement. So, yeah. That's most of what there is to know about it. Besides another factor, you cannot you cannot open this with a block on top of it. You cannot open it with a stair on top of it. But you may be able to open it with a half slab above it, as well as certain other little entity-based decorations. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk about what kinds of ways it can still be opened and may not be still opened in terms of things in front of it. Like say it's placed on its side. Now nothing in front of it, of course it's going to open. One layer of snow in front of it, still going to open because one layer of snow is virtually nothing. So, yeah, of course it's going to still open, but once you get a second layer of snow in, that's when it stops opening, and I find that if it's basically fence-like in any way, shape, or form in the block space through the middle, or like occupying more space than just the middle on both sides, it's just straight up not going to open, like um, bars glass panes, wall, fence, and rod, no open. But, torches, redstone, but not this kind of redstone. <laughs> so yeah, there are some limitations, just not everything is a limitation. So, as you can see, trap doors can block it. But if I open the trapdoor like so, where there's this extra amount of space, the shulker box will realize that extra space is there, and it will be able to open. And similarly with um, gates and such, like if they're closed, it's not going to open. If they're open, though, the shulker box will open. The shulker box will open for pressure plates. It will open for doors in the similar manner that is of the trap doors over there. They will open for rails and wire, well, string. They will open for um, the tripwire hooks. They will not open for daylight sensors. It will open for levers and buttons. Obviously not for chests, not for things with this much solid collision to them. As well as cake. Now since it's not really a force to push it back, it will open for water and lava. It's not going to open for any of these for like flower pots and portal frame ender chest enchantment table anvil 
it will open for um for ladders, but only if they're on this side. And obviously you're not gonna place a ladder on this wall. Now as for standard plants, it's just straight up gonna open for them fine, as well as cobweb and signs. Saplings, perfectly fine. Not so much for um, slime blocks. Incense banners are equivalent to signs in terms of placement and handling. They open perfectly fine, no disruption at all. They will not open for carpet. They will not open for beds. Now, on the other hand, they will open fine for paintings and for um, item frames. But here's the catch. They will knock them off if they're in certain placements of it. Like on it, knocked off. On the side from it, knocked off. Knocked off. Knocked off. But if it's across from it, it will not bother the painting or item frame. That's one thing it will not do. Now, it will mind to some extent heads, but if they're like on the other side from it, they will basically be on the right, ha the further half, allowing the shulker boxes to open. Now, not only will um, shulker boxes open with these here, they will actually kind of push them here. Like, I had this closer to the shulker box pushed. I had this a block closer to the shulker box pushed. Like, let me just demonstrate this, actually. Like, that was actually kind of part of the idea, is to demonstrate this, really. Okay, got our end crystal placed. Open this, and it pushes it like practically an entire block, just about. Clean up. It'll open for fire, and that's basically it in these kinds of circumstances. Like otherwise, it's just blocks in front of it, like. Like, um, say an iron block in front of it. <laughs> that There's no point in testing that because it's not going to open for solid blocks. Now this was me running a, a more of a, like a technical test. Like, can it be utilized more interestingly? Like, use it like a button. Like, I've seen someone actually use it as a button. But I wanted to figure out what other possible ways there might have been to make better use of it, really. There basically is none. <laughs> like, if you watch the Suma's channel, you've probably seen the um, shulker box button where he uses a minecart and a um, detector rail being used as the button mechanic with the shulker box on, like, say, the other side, like, you would see this, you press it, you would try to push the minecart with no real success onto the rail, but the rail would pick it up, sort of, and respond to it with a redstone signal. So, yeah, there is that as a possible factor. Now, over here, I've come to the conclusion that if you're still inside of the shulker box and say a block gets pushed right into its way, you can still be inside of it moving things around. And in the current status of um, what is going to become 111, you can also do this with chests, I've noticed. Which is weird to me because I know that wasn't a thing before. By the way, in case if you're wondering, that rabbit's come from the grass. This is desert biome, so yeah. <coughs> so yeah, that wasn't a thing before. Like, usually, I be I'm pretty sure that if you were in a chest, you would have been kicked out. I 
think it was a change that happened because of the shulker box, but I'm not so sure if it's permanent or not. Hard to really tell. So yeah, that's about it for what I have to talk about for this. Actually, there is another small bit of details. For example, you cannot um, you cannot put a shulker box inside of a shulker box. That is physically impossible. So, if you want to store it inside of anything, you can put it in a chest, dropper, or hopper, or even dispenser. And dispensers will actually dispense these into placement. Is another fun factor. And what you put inside of one, like, let's, uh, I swear there is a better way to. Hmm, I don't really have a way to. You know what? Game mode zero. You can break these with your fists, fine. Any way that these are just standardly destroyed, they will drop as an item with the things inside of it, still. Like, picking it up, you can see I had one block of iron in it. And I can set it down, there's that block of iron ice inside of it. Yeah. So essentially, these are like backpacks is, I want to say, the main idea, only it's like an actual placeable box. Now, what I haven't really quite tested is if you could probably, like, stack them in any way, shape, or form, say they're, like, very similar. But I want to say probably not. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm 41 Solstice 25, Winter Solstice 8. Hope you all learned something, hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day. Bye-bye.